In this lesson, we will discuss the concept of heat and heat capacity. Heat is defined as the transfer of energy by thermal interactions. Simply, heat is the transferring of thermal energy from one system to another. This energy transfer always occurs from an area of high temperature to low temperature. The temperature of a system is measured by the average kinetic energy of the molecules in that system. This means heat will be transferred from a system with greater kinetic energy to a system with lower kinetic energy. To symbolize the total amount of heat that's transferred into and out of a system, we use a lowercase q. A positive q means that heat has flowed into the system. A negative q means that heat has flowed out of the system. Now when heat does flow into a system, one of two things will occur. Firstly, the temperature of the system can increase. The heat transferred into the system can increase the average kinetic energy of the molecules and ultimately result in a higher temperature. If the temperature of the system does not increase, then instead a phase change will occur. A phase change occurs when the heat transferred into a system is used to overcome the attractive forces between the molecules in the system, increasing their potential energy. Let's use temp room temperature water as a quick example. When we put a pot of room temperature water on a hot stove, the temperature of the water will steadily increase. It will continue to increase until it reaches its boiling point, 100 degrees Celsius. Once the water reaches this point, the temperature will no longer increase, and the transferred heat will instead be used to overcome the attraction between the water molecules and cause the liquid water to go through a phase change into water vapor. This now brings us to the topic of heat capacity. The heat capacity of a substance is the amount of thermal energy transfer, or heat, required to increase the temperature by 1 degree Celsius, or 1 Kelvin. This can be written as C is equal to Q over delta T. In this equation, C is the heat capacity of the substance and has the units joules per Kelvin or joules per degree Celsius. Q is the amount of heat transferred, measured in joules. And lastly, delta T is the change in temperature in Kelvin or degrees Celsius. Now when we're discussing the heat capacity of an object, say for example a container, the heat capacity is given in the units joules per Kelvin or joules per degree Celsius, as we just saw. When talking about pure substances, however, the heat capacity is typically given in joules per Kelvin gram or joules per Kelvin mole. When given in joules per Kelvin gram, this is known as the specific heat capacity. This tells us the amount of heat required to increase one gram of a substance by one Kelvin. Therefore, we can say the amount of heat transferred between the substance and its surroundings is equal to the mass of the substance multiplied by the temperature change multiplied by the specific heat capacity. When the heat capacity is given in joules per Kelvin mole, on the other hand, this is known as the molar capacity. This tells us the amount of heat required to increase one mole of a substance by one Kelvin. Thus, to calculate the total amount of heat transferred, we can also multiply the number of moles of substance by the temperature change and the molar heat capacity.